Chris Kobach is the Secretary of State of the State of Kansas. He's been following these issues closely because he cares, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Secretary, thanks for coming on. So, well, thanks um, for having me, Tucker. It, uh, you know, explain to us why it's important to know whether or not people counted by the census are American citizens. There are a million reasons why. The first and foremost is that any sovereign nation needs to know how many citizens it has. Uh, the second is that all kinds of statistics require us, like unemployment statistics, knowing how many of the people in the United States are citizens and how many are non-citizens, meaning aliens, right. both legal and illegal. We have to know that. Uh, and then apportionment. If Congress decides, as it should, to stop counting illegal aliens, we need to know exactly how many are in each category. I mean, it's absurd that states like California have an inflated number of representatives in Congress because they have so many illegal aliens. And so, you know, there's so many reasons. But let me just quickly respond to your previous guest. I couldn't stop laughing. His notion that it's unconstitutional to count citizens, ask people if they are citizens or not. Look, we started doing this in the 1820 census. The founding fathers were still alive in 1820. If it was unconstitutional to ask, are you a citizen, they would have said, hey, don't ask the citizenship question. That's unconstitutional. And the second thing is the Supreme Court ruled in 1964 in Westbury versus Sanders that diluting the votes of U.S. citizens, which is what happens when you count the illegal aliens in a district, that is unconstitutional. So but it's, it's I, a ludicrous I wonder, though, argument that I, I he wonder and if others are making. conservatives make a mistake in having constitutional arguments with people who think the Constitution is fundamentally illegitimate because it was written by slave owners in the first place. I mean, this really has nothing to do well, with the Constitution. <laughs> I doubt Javier Becerra is, knows what's in the Constitution. He doesn't care. This is all sophism. It's demagoguery designed to take power from people they don't think should have it. Voters, don't you think? Well, I. Yeah, I, I think so. And you hit the nail on the head when you said, look, it's all about power. That's why the left is apoplectic about the notion that we would be counting citizens again, like we've right. done through most of our country's history, because they, they see that this potentially could threaten the inflated number of congressional seats. But again, the Trump administration can't do it unilaterally. It would take an act of Congress next to say, OK, uh, apportionment should not count illegal aliens. But we should have done that decades ago, by the way. <laughs> That's for sure. That and a lot of other things. Mr. Kobach, thank you for joining yes. us. Great to see you. My pleasure.